<laughs> it looks like there's voodoo afoot at the Gio barn. What on earth is that? I think that's Pledger. He did that last year before the Travers and the horse walked out of the gate and finished fourth. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of superstitions at the track, particularly at this guy's place, huh? Boy. Did you have superstitions when you were riding? I always was superstitious. If I was in a slump, I would turn my socks and underwear inside out. How often did they get changed? Until you won? <laughs> Until I won, otherwise couldn't change him. I actually went right through my socks a few times. Terrible. I'll tell you what, you go around the racetrack enough, you hear the craziest things. How about uh, no peanuts around the barn? Yeah, no peanuts. That's bad luck, but an old groom once told me it's because the peanut shells could get up in a horse's hoof and cause an infection. I don't know if it's true, but I wouldn't take a chance. I tell you what, I bet Spectacular Bid lost the Belmont because there were peanuts on the floor of the Delt Barn. Not a safety pin? <laughs> maybe not a safety pin, maybe just a peanut shell. How about don't kill a cricket? You ever hear that one? Oh, by Jiminy, I wouldn't kill a cr cricket. You wouldn't loop, ever win a race around here. How about if a bird poops on you at the track? That's good luck. I can't wipe it off. At Aqueduct one day, a seagull dive bombed me. Trainer wouldn't let me wipe it off. The horse won easily. Never wanted to wash the silks after that. That's terrible. How about don't pee in the stall the day of the race? Well, let me ask you a question. Beyond superstition, would you want a horse to come pee in your bedroom? Absolutely not. That's a bad idea. That's not happening. I'll tell you what, it's not just around the horses though, too. As a handicapper and a gambler, I, g I get black cats around me. There's certain people that whenever they materialize, I lose. I was in the paddock the other day, third leg of a pick three. I'm checking out the horses. My personal black cat shows up, extends his hand to shake, to shake. wouldn't touch him. No, I used to ride for a trainer that had a very good friend, and if he touched me before a race, we never won. I would come to the paddock late when I knew he was there and run right to the horse, and the trainer was like, well, I want to give you instructions. The only instruction I need was, I need to stay away from that guy. I'll tell you another one. $50 bills. You're not supposed to touch a $50 bill if you're gambling or your betting's going to go south. And if you go, every single window here has got $50 bills. I practically want to go wear gloves when I go up to the window. Put plastic gloves on to handle a 50? That would make sense. Huh? But, but you know one thing for sure? You don't want to sweep up with a broom you, sh you ship from one track to the other. Why is that? I don't know, but I'm not going to tempt fate. I tell you what, I also heard never hang up the pitchfork until it's spotless and clean at the barn. Well, in my barn, they've got to be spotless and clean anyway, so I don't know where that one began, except that maybe a barn foreman wanted everything in tip-top shape. Nick, we didn't know you had a barn yet, but we know you've got superstitions. Bring yours and a lucky rabbit's foot out to the track at Saratoga.